You have pretty eyes. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't make me blush on the rig. <laughs> How did you get selected to be the lead in Marsha Ambrose's video? Well, uh, you know, I know a few people that uh, work in our camp. Uh, they had saw some pictures that I did in the past, and they saw the the first video I did with Mary J. Blige, and so uh, they gave me a call to see if I was available, and I, I told them I was ready, willing, and able. And so uh, it was, it's just a different, complete opposite of what I did with Mary. When I was with, working with Mary, we were more combative and uh, argumentative, and uh, you know, working with Marsha was more of a up close and personal, very intimate, you know, bedroom, uh, you know, type of scenes and everything. So you know, it's, it's a big kind contrast but you know I had a great time working with both uh, individual artists. And do you, are you in a relationship right now? No I'm a, I'm a single single and available uh, <laughs> not in a relationship so. What do you think about the premise of that video and the song? You know I definitely was something I wanted to be a part of. I do so much uh, in my community uh, in Paducah, Kentucky, my hometown as well as in Buffalo uh, where I play and so uh, you know s s speaking about safe sex and, and AIDS awareness you know everybody's not not always comfortable in those type of settings and having those type of conversations and so you know I don't want to step on any parents toes I don't know what's being taught at home and so I just I thought that was the perfect opportunity for me for me to be able to spark the conversation and spark that dialogue you know when those kids that I work with are able to go home after seeing the video and tell their mom and dad what the video was about and then they may perhaps start to ask questions to their parents so they can have that conversation you know to better prepare them to make better decisions healthier decisions as they grow up and into their adulthood. When it comes to relationships, what do you look for in a woman? Uh, you know, somebody who's ambitious about life, you know, somebody who's uh, outgoing but not outspoken. Uh, you know, somebody that's down to earth, you know, just easy to talk to, you know, have their own things going on where, you know, uh, I'm not their main focus, you know, where we can, we can uh, you know, get together and talk about our days and I'm not always the topic of conversation. Besides being an athlete, what's your best skill? Huh. <laughs> Uh, I, I can cook a little bit, you know. I'm not a, you know, a certified chef by any means, but you know, I don't have to go out and, and eat, uh, you know, dine out every night. You know, I can I can prepare a home cooked meal. My mom prepared me to be, uh, you know, self sufficient where I can do all the domestics. So, you know, it's got to be a little more. You got to bring a little more to the table if you, uh, you know, trying to step to me. I like the sound of that. What's the last meal you made? Oh, I did a, a roast. I cooked it in my crock pot with, uh, you know, diced celery and onions. Uh, added my own potatoes and carrots you know did some some green beans and some uh, some corn with it so you know I just try to do uh, you know something good and heartily that that I can have leftovers for for a couple of days at least I think we have a great eligible bachelor lady